Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can create a crouching motion or crouch in your level in your Unreal Engine project. Now a lot of things in Unreal Engine are really simple, really straightforward and easy to do. Crouching isn't one of them. It is something that you can do pretty fast but in, for some reason it involves a range of things you need to edit and change so that this really simple first person feature can work in your project. I will showcase all of them and try to do my best to explain why do we need to employ any of them and actually all of them for crouching to work. So if you ever played first person shooters you probably know that crouching is kind of a simple notion of taking your player camera capsule, now that we're talking about Unreal Engine things, and simply lowering towards the ground. It's done in first person shooters so you can have a better aim when you crouch your factor of sight on your weapon and its movement usually stabilizes giving you more precision and making you a small tar target of course. However uh, in Unreal Engine to get this simple, simple functionality you have to do a bunch of stuff, simple easy stuff but still stuff that you can have to cover so that the crouching process works. First thing you'll need to do is to actually go to your project settings which is under edit and check out or open project settings. You'll get a bunch of these and here under the engine category you need to find the input category. Here you need to open up action mappings. These are the things that allow you to kind of prov provide some input to your player character which gets some results. So as you can see action mappings currently include jump, which is space and fire, which is your mouse button and reset VR, whatever that might be. Now we're going to add our action mappings, an additional action mapping for crouch. We'll do that by add action mapping and by calling it crouch. We're going to assign a button for this motion, for this movement, by clicking here and selecting any button that we want. I'll use my left shift. And here we have the crouch is now assigned left shift. However, this doesn't do anything. This is just the start. From here on out, we're going to close this. We're going to go to the first person character, I'm using the first person template, first person character and we're going to open it up and edit first person character needs to be selected. Now, and this is really confusing for some reason this exists in the engine. Previously we had to go to class defaults that showcase crouching. However, right now there is no crouching except camera size or camera uh, height, camera eye height, which is the amount of distance that crouching provides in terms of relative ground or how low the camera is towards the ground. However, we don't want to do anything with that, we just want to allow crouching as is. To do that, we need to go for character movement component and here we need to find crouch and under nav movement movement capabilities we need to check out or tick off can crouch this is a complete mystery to me why is this necessary or why is this here at all but if you don't do this the crouching blueprint we're going to make now won't work so you need to do it and need to tick it off under can crouch in character movement you can he see here under the components really confusing really hard to figure out and it changed under different versions but hey it's still something yet have to do so we'll go to compile and save now we need to go to the event graph uh, and actually create the crouching movement as you can see there is a bunch of default stuff here spawn projectiles uh, general movement stick input again VR things we're not going to create anything here here we're going to create a simple action event so left click more precisely right click 
and under action events we have all of these that we added in the project settings and we have crouch and here it is it's a simple action event input action crouch pressed released and we're going to use pressed so whenever we press a button the character crouches whenever we press the same button which is again left shift the character stands up from here we're going to add a flip-flop node which is a node that allows you to set things either as true or false depending on different status of the current action you took so when you press first time it's true when you press the second time it's false and it goes in circles like that so it's a flip-flop node here it is again we have not actually true or false a and b and with a we're going to execute crouch and you can see immediately B is going to be uncrouch. So this is a simpler part of this whole process of setting crouch. But still the previous steps are necessary as well. So there you have it. This is the entire input that you need to get in the blueprint event graph that allows you to crouch. So again, we're going to compile and save and go back to the first person character level to try it out. So we're going to go for play. Here we are. Here is the normal moment and motion. And let's now try left shift. And there is the crouch. Again, the next pressed flip-flop does the job. It goes to B, it's uncrouch. Again, pressed, crouch and uncrouched. And now we can edit, as I said, in the construction i mean in the class defaults we can find crouch and we can go for i don't know let's say a smaller level of crouch and see what that does back in the game again we go for crouch and still pretty similar but that's the way how you can actually edit and influence the amount of crouching you actually achieve with your function and the event graph that you created so far. So there you saw it. It's a pretty simple in each individual step process, but altogether it involves three different things you need to do and get set right so that crouching works. Pretty odd, pretty weird, but still this is the way that this particular function works in Unreal Engine. Hopefully you found this useful, hopefully you can apply it in your levels. Thank you so much for checking it out, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you're an Unreal Engine beginner and want to see more videos like this. Leave a like, leave a comment and a question if you have them. And check out the ways you can support me in the description below. That's all for this video, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for watching, see you in a couple days on my new tutorial video and until then have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye!